My recommended section is ruined. I clicked into not two, not three, but only one Troom Troom video and my recommended section, look at this. Why is everything a kid's channel? This one's in German, this one's in Russian, Korean, Spanish. Why are these all in a row? Do I look multilingual to you? I'm not. I don't keep up with my Duolingo courses and the little owl keeps sending me death threats. I'm never finishing my Spanish lessons and there's nothing the owl or anybody else can do about that. Necesito huir. Greetings, pair social pairs. Rejoice for today, Father's blessing you with the best art hacks on this godforsaken website, which isn't saying much. Do you know how I usually say my videos? Please, guys, this video isn't a hate video, so please don't send hate comments to anybody mentioned. Just kidding, like, whenever I ever put that disclaimer on my channel. Never, that's when. And honestly, it would be wrong of me to do so. I believe in you as a person, so I'm never gonna try to stop you from doing something that you want to do. Does that make sense? I promote positivity. That being said, I literally hate Troom Troom so much. Like, just, I'm, no, like, I hate them. Because they build the whole video as a drawing tips and tricks video designed to give you drawing tips and tricks, and it doesn't. Unless we're considering this to be helpful, we're not. Learning how to draw is hard enough already. This might be too much to ask for, but if I'm going to learn drawing, I would love to actually learn drawing. And that is exactly why I rebuke Troom Troom and I am choosing Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Learn drawing videos where you can actually learn drawing. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than two separate courses on drawing, painting, and more. A lot more than two. Last time I mentioned Skillshare, I pointed out this really cool course for how to make comics. And you have absolutely no idea how much that has helped me start my comic. And neither do I, because I haven't started my comic or completed the course or started the course. But thanks to my premium membership, I still have access to it, as well as every course on the website. And that premium membership is affordable, coming out to just less than 10... And that... And that premium membership is affordable, and annual subscription comes out to less than $10 a month. And you don't even have to pay that. You can get two months for free right now by using my link in the description. But only if you're one of the first 500 people. If you're any later than that, then perish or pay the affordable price of like less than $10 a month. It's literally up to you, but yeah. Sign up today with my Skillshare link and start your free trial immediately. But finish watching this video first. Anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby. This is $12. I'm literally going to use this once ever. I use this entire thing of watercolor, $7, and one tube of acrylic paint is 12. Just kidding, I found a smaller one, but still. Do you know how insane I look right now talking to myself on the floor of Hobby Lobby? Nine brushes or one tiny tube of white acrylic paint. This is making me angry. I'm literally in Hobby Lobby right now and my phone is like, which of the following places have you visited recently? Like, it's okay Google, I know, you can't stop watching me. Nobody can, but at least be more subtle about it. Look, it's my parents every time they watch one of my videos. Now that I've spent money on things that I'm only going to use once ever, let's go ahead and get started with the drawing hacks. A cactus in front of a sunset, an old steam train on cardboard, drawings on paper clips, and word pictures? In this collection of life hacks, there's something useful and interesting for everyone. I'm sorry, but out of everything that was just mentioned, which one of these is supposed to be a life hack exactly? For the first life hack, you need a piece of paper. Take a brush. Cover the upper part of the sheet with water. I'm aware that I am the last person on YouTube who should ever criticize somebody for this specific trait, but why does she talk like that? She does not sound like a normal human being. Like, are you okay? Make a fill from watercolor. Use brown, red, and orange. Can you calm down? Draw black cactus silhouettes with a black marker. Are you sure you're in a well-ventilated area when you're using that Sharpie? because uh, it do doesn't sound like it. You can almost feel the heat and desert wind coming from it. So, uh, yeah, this is the first life hack. And why did I spend time making, like, what did I gain? This entire life hack just felt like a weird flex. For the next life hack, you need a ruler. Separate the sheet with a line in the center. For the next life hack, excuse me, I'm still waiting to see the first life hack. Because this is not a life hack. But you know, at least this one seems pretty simple. 
Following the laws of perspective, divide the strips into parts. Never mind, I'm not doing that. Next, you need a brush with a water reservoir. Got it. Write an inscription with water. Then, moisten the brush in watercolor. Draw on the water, adding droplets of paint to it. This one actually does seem pretty simple. Hey look, I'm painting with water. Watch out, Casey Golden. Next, I fill this in with some paint. Thanks to this technique, the paint makes graceful swirls. This rainbow calligraphy will delight your friends. Thus implying that I have friends. Anyway, can't wait to hang these above my fireplace. You know, in the hopes that they catch fire and burn to nothingness. And for this life hack, get black paper. I forgot to buy black paper, but this is what I bought the white acrylic paint for, meaning I bought the white paint for nothing. I need Excedrin. For the next life hack, take a sheet of paper and a simple pencil. Draw the head of a crab, add huge claws and a big smile. But why? Color the background with turquoise paint and the crab itself red. Outline the contour with a black marker. Add black lashes to the eyes. Draw a cute sheep to keep it company. This bright, funny picture would be perfect for a funny greeting card. First of all, this is horrifying. Secondly, you mean to tell me that the life hack is just draw a crab. Why? Let's touch the world of illusions. Make light charcoal shading on a piece of paper. Draw a circle. I'm sorry, did you want to finish that sentence draw a circle guess not it looks just incredible it looks like those shading exercises i used to do when i was in elementary school and as many things as i probably do need to review from elementary school this is not one of them so we are not doing that this monochrome 3d drawing looks very unusual that's a funny way of saying it looks like something i would never hang on my wall for any reason whatsoever Anyway, what's next? And now we will tell you how to draw letters or write a picture. Just look and see for yourself. Use an orange marker to draw free form letters. Write the word carrot. Draw part of the word in the form of a carrot and turn the last letter into a green tail. I don't think that's called a tail, but this idea is nice, I guess. I'm not doing a carrot though. Did you think that you can only draw with paints, markers, or pencils? Destroy these stereotypes. Draw pictures with letters. Why did that sound like they were trying to sound woke? Did you think that you could only draw with markers, paint, and pencils? Yikes. You need to stop because you're going to be canceled. Okay, queen? Mm, but you're not one. Anyway, here's the things I did. A coffin, my career, and bills. All of which seem to be just right around the corner at all given times. Can't wait to hang these above my bed frame. And the next picture will appear on a piece of corrugated fiberboard. And I, oh! Decorate the drawing with retro details. Finish with big wheels. Attach- So, step one. Draw an entire train from memory. Like, who makes these? Why do they get more views than literally everything on my channel combined? Make a cut along the outline with a box cutter. Remove the top cardboard layer. Maybe it would look great in my room if I was eight, but these life hacks, which they're not, if they're presumably made for eight-year-olds, which they appear to be, then why does the second step involve using a box cutter? Decorate the palms with black fate lines. The bright picture is ready. This is what handmade is all about. It looks like hands that have had their skin ripped off. We will teach you how to draw flowers with one line. Draw a small stalk and a very beautiful daisy. So that was actually two lines. It looks like a sweet and kind puppy, but just try to open someone else's letter. Why would I want to make this? Like, who would I give this to? And now take four small sheets of paper and paper clips. Life is too short for this. And so are my videos. Did you like our ideas for drawing? No. Anyway, here are the life hacks I made. They really hacked my life. I feel so much more productive as a person now that I have spent my time creating these. So... Looks like I've gotten 10 minutes of content out of this, so... Leave a like, don't what you think, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and big thanks to all.